Hey everybody, Johnny here. In this video, we want to take a look at a couple of nodes that have made their way into Blender 3.1, which is now in beta. The two nodes we want to look at are the Extrude node and the Scale Elements node. Let's get into it. The Extrude node is one that people have been waiting for for quite a while. You find it under the Mesh menu, Extrude Mesh. You have three basic modes to use Extrude Mesh with, Faces Mode, Edges Mode, and Vertices Mode. Faces is the default, and it's the one we'll look at first. We have our input mesh and our output mesh. We have a selection, where we can choose which faces we want to extrude. We have an offset direction, which has an implicit input of the face normal. We have the offset scale, which is how much it's going to be extruded. And then we have a checkbox called individual. The individual checkbox allows us to decide if each face is going to be individually extruded, no matter which other ones are selected, or if two faces are adjacent, that they'll be extruded together. Let's show how that would work. I just want to select a couple of faces, so I'll do that by index number. I'll add an index input and a compare node, and then I'll plug this into the selection. I can now use the B value to say which face I want to select. I'll just select the ones here that are greater than three. To make it a little clearer what's happening, I'm going to turn on my wireframe overlay. So now you can see these two faces are the ones that are being extruded. If I turn off individual mode, you'll see that these two are now extruded together, and the side face that was created between them is now merged. Turning individual back on separates them again. If I want, I could plug the index into my offset scale. Now each face's offset scale is affected by its index number. In addition to the mesh output, we have two Boolean outputs on the extrude mesh node as well, top and side. These are face selections based on the new geometry. In this case, looking from this angle, this face and this face would be top faces, and these faces would be side faces. We can use those selections to further process our mesh. The other new node we want to look at is one we could use them with. That's the Scale Elements node. It's found under Mesh, Scale Elements. This node lets you scale faces or edges. You can do them in a uniform fashion or just in a single axis. You have an option of how much you want to scale them, so when you have no selection you're scaling them all. You can also determine what you want the center point of your scaling to be. So if I were to add an empty over here, and then bring it into my node tree, I could use its relative location as my center. And now when I scale, it scales in proportion to the location of my empty. In this case, it might be that you only want to scale the newly created top faces. You can do this simply by connecting the top output from extrude into the selection of the scale elements node. Now, as we scale, only the newly created top faces are scaled. While there's no looping capability yet inside of geometry nodes, you can continue chaining these. So if I wanted to duplicate my extrude mesh and put it after my scale elements, but then only extrude the newly created top faces, I could do that. I could then scale those again. I could of course continue doing this as often as I wanted. Another thing we can do with the extrude mesh node is create a simple solidify node. Here, I have just a plane, and I'll attach an extrude mesh node in faces mode to it. It looks like we've solidified the plane, but if we tip upside down, we see that it doesn't have a bottom face, because this face was extruded upwards, and no face was created in its place. This is part of the design of the extrude mesh node. We do still have the original mesh that this was extruded from. It's coming out of our geometry here. So if I simply join my extruded mesh with my original, you'll see that it appears that we've now solidified this plane. But let's take a closer look. A standard rectangular solid like this has eight vertices, six faces, and 12 edges. But if we look at our spreadsheet, we see we have 12 vertices, 16 edges, and six faces. The discrepancy is because this top part that we extruded is not actually connected to the bottom plane that we added back in. So these four edges, although they look exactly the same, 
are actually duplicated. We can get rid of this by using another new node. And that's under geometry and called merge by distance. By default, the merge distance is 0.1 meters. And this is really too large and will probably be changed before release. I'm going to reduce this to 0.001. And then I'm going to drop this on my joined geometry line. If we look now, we have 8 vertices, 12 edges, and 6 faces. So this is now a solid. Now, if we extrude our original plane, we see that each individual face is extruded. That's of course because we have the individual checkbox still ticked. If we uncheck this, we now get a simple solidify modifier. There are still plans to replicate all of the functionality that are in the solidify modifier currently, including the complex mode. So right now, this is just a workaround. And of course, we can continue playing with this as much as we like. I hope this introduction to the extrude mesh and scale elements nodes have been helpful. I expect that there's going to be a lot of cool stuff done with them soon. But in the meantime, I hope this inspires you to make something awesome, and I thank you so much for watching the channel. Keep looking out for new videos, and until next time, I'll catch you later.